Good evening, fellow train enthusiasts. How are you this evening? I am Wunderbar. Thank you for your inquiry. Um, here we are. I will be on uh, a little bit of part two of the big field. Got a little bit of the and we'll see what's going on. We'll look at this and we've got 117 coming now on a freight train that's 20 miles long. So, I'm pretty hot there for you actually. I'm pretty good at the rail off. But let's have a look anyway. So here's the tunnel I was doing. Um, got my land pack over nice, we've got um, no air through here. And it's easy, like I said before, it's because it's on the grid line. See the grid lines there? Nice and straight. So I made it quite easy to get it in there. Um, we're just going to uh, cab here. So <laughs> it's not Oh uh, yeah, and with the splines, I was, um, and you know the problem I was having down the bottom about the, um, uh, what's this bit called, the base, was, was this underground? I just had to go under the splines and I actually lifted them uh, manually with the little controls over here, right? Left foot on the spline, um, it gave me the height, and then I was able to apply, uh, you know, put food to it, to lift it up. And make it look pretty. Pretty much the same as what I did on this track, on the bridge track, to keep the track uh, here nice and visible on the uh, base of the tunnel. Because I, I decided to build, I like this tunnel, but it didn't have a, a, a rail line in it, so I had to put it in myself, which you have seen, because you've watched my other videos. So, that was that problem fixed. I, I've got, uh, what was another problem? I still can't find that problem cyst. So I'll soon have getting that out. And I've just asked another fellow trains enthusiast about cars. Um, these cars are spoiling when he builds. So I need to figure out how to do that because mine don't go towards it like I've seen. You should watch my um, trains and in traffic video. I'm going to figure out where's my lumber mill. Mm -hmm. Fire! Come on, fire brigade! Oh, look at that, folks. It's really nice. I like that. Better than that. Well, I just like it. Let's wait to get into the pictures. And so, just doing a little bit of stirring there. Um, right, let's come back out to uh, Chase. There's my camera view. Chase. There we go. Now we can see my coal mine started. Um, I did have a coal train, it was down in my um, shunking yard. I've brought it up there and made a little spur there, sat him in there, and I've left that track embedded in the, um, you know how it did downstairs, so later when I do my next tutorial, I'll show you how to um, how we solve that by just this mine so, you know, the can. I had the blaster here to get this train down here. Isn't it pretty? Uh, and uh, I started getting the same track around. I had to obviously sponsor the track. The um, bridge I made, so this bridge uh, wasn't on um, 90 degrees with the um, grid line, so it was a bit harder. Um, and again, it was a bridge just in components. The overhead and the columns were three separate items, and there was no tracking or issues. Just two rails, and place those on top of it again to my um, the board I'm using TR19 standard concrete pumps. Ah, here you go. I've got to lift this too still because it's uh, see how the ballast is up here, but it's not the end of it. Just, Right, so I'm coming up now, so I lifted all this up. Right, let's just have a look at this. I've got to decide what I'm going to do with Am I going to keep that pill over there, the plateauing I showed you how to do on um, the fixing track track lane one? Is that video? I can't remember. You tell me. Um, that's Hoffman Valley over there. I've talked about Hoffman Valley, my coal train. I actually ran out of coal, but it's still going around, so I haven't seen the steam from it. I'll have to go over there later and check to see if that is still running around. 
So with my turnaround yard here, I've got the shunts in so that um, by switching the switches, we can come in on one direction, go out on the other. We can avoid going up the coal mine or we cannot. So hopefully when we sat some track markers and give the coal train II some commands, I'll have the able to get my industry happening down the other end of the board and we can uh, figure out what discrepancies mean between the four of us. Do I keep this? Um, in my impact crater, this is a pile of rubble, dirt, we dug out from Mount Newman from way back. Stuck there. Um, yeah. So, again, I've been looking on there and, and lots of people are doing routes from one place to another, but I, I'm, I'm old school, so. Uh oh, I know, that's right. I get panicked when I see it. I'm old school and I like the, you know, when you used to go to the show and people had their boards on the, the tracks laid out on the boards and you watch them going around. The old guy was standing there with his hat on. Choo -choo, that's me now. That'll be the bowl. Because my dad, my poor dad, did I tell you he had um, the tiny gauge, that like M gauge, and it, um, he's had it for years. You know, the HO before that, the Hornby, whatever it is, but the track on um, the board um, accident fell over. Lucky there was only the track on the mountain on it, but it was this poor fellow was heartbroken. My brother wasn't, because he got all the trains, lucky bugger. But I don't have that, I don't know that. Well, I'm not in a lot of that, it's much more interesting. So there you go, you've seen my new part now. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like. And if you're one of those guys that's just trying to get your views up, then subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you. Otherwise, well, thanks for watching. Happy training.